Hi everyone, today we're drawing a sugar glider. Can you believe they're part of the possum family? Some people think they are flying squirrels, but they're not. So the first thing we're going to do is draw the head. It's a nice round shape. Now it's time to work on the ears. For the eyes, I'm just drawing two big round circles and I'm going to fill it in with the color black and leave two little white spots. Next is a little nose and then the sugar glider's mouth. Now we're going to work on the body and we're going to make this look like the sugar glider is falling from a tree branch and he's gliding down to the ground. Now here comes the tricky part. We're going to just bring a line straight down from the hand on each side and then we're going to draw a little foot. Because this sugar glider has a big flap of skin on each side of its body, almost like web feet. That's what helps it glide down gently to the ground. And here comes a nice tail. They actually have quite a long tail. We draw the lines of the tail closer together at the base of the sugar glider's body and we spread them apart and make a big rounded bottom. And now a few stripes. I'm going to draw a tree branch here to make it look like this is where the sugar glider is coming down from. And I drew some of those dashes across the sides of the sugar glider to show movement. Sometimes in cartoons, they show a bunch of lines behind the character to show that they're going fast. So that's what I did. Next, I'm going to get my watercolor palette and make this picture come to life with some beautiful colors. If you don't have a watercolor palette, you can use crayons too. So I will make my sugar glider brown and black. I'm going to need blue for the sky and green for the leaves. And I'll need brown for the tree branch and a tiny touch of pink for the sugar glider's nose. It may look like I'm painting really fast, but actually this painting took about 20 minutes. Did you know sugar gliders are nocturnal animals? Yes, they like to sleep during the day and they make most of their activity at nighttime. Playing and gliding and searching for food. And speaking of food, they are omnivores. They will eat all kinds of foods, fruits, vegetables, insects. They're not picky at all. They really like to eat the sap on the tree a lot and fruit. So I think that's where their name sugar glider comes from because they're both sweet items that this animal likes a lot. I'm going to use a painting technique called wet on wet. That means I'm going to wet my paper first before I put the paint. This way my blue watercolor paint will glide around my paper more easily. Plus I don't want this blue to be such a dark blue. I want it to be a little transparent. This way I can just go around the leaves and the sugar glider easy.
I forgot to put whiskers. I like to keep the lines close together and fan them out. That's how I make my whiskers look realistic. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this drawing and painting video.